Greetings, dear listeners. <clears throat> oh my, my voice is kind of rough today, but there's a lot of smoke in the air, so you'll just have to take me as I am. Well, welcome to Unboxing 1812, Volume 2. Now, recently I acquired a library of 72 books about the War of 1812, and I'm not exactly sure what the titles are, so I thought we would unbox them together uh, via my channel here. And as I take the books out, I will hold them up. And if you think I should review any of them on the channel, please let me know in the comments because I do occasionally uh, review books on, <laughs> on the channel. Not as often as I should, but I do try. So without further ado, I am going to begin. But if you like today's video, be sure to drop a like. Leave a comment, particularly if there's a book you think I should review. And, of course, be sure to be sure to subscribe. I almost said be sure to describe. No, be sure to subscribe to 1812 channel. So, what do we got to begin with? A weighty tome. The Life of General Grant. I don't think there was a General Grant in the War of 1812, but... As a matter of fact, from the little picture that you probably can't see, that's definitely U.S. Grant. So, however, I'll probably read it. Ah, this is more like it. The War of 1812, A Forgotten Conflict by Donald R. Hickey. It's got a very glossy cover, so hopefully you're actually seeing the cover and not glare. But uh, we do the best we can with the technology we have. So Donald R. Hickey, of course, is a very well-known historian. Okay, here's a controversial pic figure. I almost said controversial picture. Uh, I need more coffee. Jackson's Way, Andrew Jackson and the People of the Western Waters by John Buchanan. Because the War of 1812 was fought in the American South, almost as much as it was fought in Upper Canada. So here's Jackson's Way by John Buchanan. Oh, I can see. This one's also about the war down south. The Pirate Lafayette. The Pirates, the Pirates Lafayette, pardon me. The Treacherous World of the Corsairs of the Gulf by William C. Davis. William C. Davis. The Pirates Lafitte. Now you got a paperback here. They met at Gettysburg. I don't think we'll meet that on the channel. But if you want me to read it, let me know in the comments. Next thing I'm gonna have like World War II or the Chaco War. Essential Essential Histories, Essential Histories, The War of 1812 by Carl Benn. Again, another very well-respected historian. This looks like quite a short book, but uh, these Essential Histories, I've seen some of the other ones. They're short books, but there's a lot of dense text. So, Carl Benn, another well-known historian of the War of 1812. Old Forts of the Great Lakes, Old Forts of the Great Lakes, Sentinels in the Wilderness by James, I think it's James P. Berry. I don't have my glasses on. I'm actually working on a video where we're talking about the siege of Fort Meigs and Fort Stevenson, so this book might come in handy. The War of 1812 Against the States, Heroes of a Great Canadian Victory by Jennifer Crump. This is one of those amazing stories paperbacks you often see in stores. And I guess since it says Heroes of a Great Canadian Victory, we know where Jennifer stands on this issue. Okay, these books are all on their side, so I might have to do a little heavy lifting here. Following the Drum, The Lives of Army Wives and Daughters Past and Present 
by Annabelle Vetting. Annabelle Vetting. So that might be an interesting book to review. Wonder if Laura Secord's in here. I'm writing about her right now, too. Oh, here's a thick one. The Reagan Diaries, you know. Fond as I am of old Ronald, uh, I'm not quite sure about 1812 channel, but you can let me know. I mean, he was very old when he was president, not as old perhaps as the current president, but uh, maybe he was around in the War of 1812. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to check. Habits and Empire, A History of American Expansionism by Walter Nugent. And uh, that's certainly a factor in what happens during the War of 1812. Not just in Canada, not just in Upper Canada and, uh, and Lower Canada, but also in the U.S. Southwest, such as in Florida. So A History, Habits of Empire, A History of American Expansionism or American Expansion by Walter Nugent. Walter Nugent. Some really interesting books here. Oh, good. I, I could use this one. This is one of the first books that was written about the War of 1812. It came out in the 1800s. It's Lossing's Pictorial Field Book of the War of 1812, Volume 1, by Benson J. Lossing. Benson J. Lossing. So I'm definitely going to be looking at that and probably consulting it quite a bit. Ken McGugan, How the Scots Invented Canada. Well, I've got Scotch heritage, so I'm going to see if any of my ancestors are in this book. Ken McGugan, How the Scots, the Scots, Invented Canada. And if you've never been to Scotland, go, because Scotland rocks. It's great. I love it. I love Scotland. A Wicked War. Well, that probably, prob a Wicked War, that probably describes pretty much every war in history. But this is Pope Clay Lincoln and the 1846 U.S. invasion of Mexico. <laughs> We're really getting far afield here now. And this is by Amy S. Greenberg. Amy S. Greenberg. Although, as I've been researching the War of 1812, I have done a fair bit of reading on the Mexican War. It's kind of interesting. So, if you want me to talk about that on the channel, let me know. We're getting down to the bottom now. A Most Fortunate Ship, a narrative history of Old Ironside. I knew the minute I saw Fortunate Ship, it's going to be Old Ironside, which is, and I'm going to embarrass myself if I get it wrong here, the USS Constitution. No, it's right. It's right here on the back. And this is by Tyrone G. Martin. Tyrone G. Martin, the most fortunate ship. And the USS Constitution Museum has a really good timeline of the War of 1812, so you might want to check that site out. And finally, my camera person is slowly flagging of exhaustion, so we're just going to finish it up here. But John Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams, and this is by Harlow Gilt. Harlow Gills Unger, or Harlow Gills Unger. Um, John Quincy Adams, of course, was one of the American peace negotiator, negotiators. He was also, I believe, the sixth president of the United States, just prior to Andrew Jackson. But don't quote me on that. So this, most of the pictures you see, looks like a rather sour old guy, but this is a picture of him as a handsome young man. John Quincy Adams. So that's it for box number one, quite an, an eclectic collection of titles. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to review any of these books on the channel. If you like the video, be sure to drop a like and be sure to subscribe to 1812 channel. Let's start a community of people interested in talking about the War of 1812. So when the barrage lifts, cheers.